right, uh, we're back with some nickels. We got two hundred dollars in nickels. We did open both boxes, and we do have some uh, circulated nickels. So we'll get through the hunt. Of course, we'll start here like always. We'll get through them, and then we'll bring you back in on the first find. We're through the first ten rolls, and we found uh, nineteen forty-one Philadelphia, nineteen forty-seven Philadelphia, nineteen forty-nine Philadelphia. And 257 Denvers, 259 Denvers, and a 1997 Canadian. So not too bad, eight coins out of the first 10 rolls. We'll get through the next 10 and come back and show you what we find. Right, we're through 20 rolls now, and we found three, the 55 Denver, 56 Denver, and 57 Denver. So we'll get those added up here with the rest, and that gives us 11 coins out of 20 rolls right now. We'll get through 10 more and bring you back in on the next find. Well, it's 10 more rolls down, so that makes 30. We have just two coins to add here. There's a 1939 Philadelphia, and I don't see any doubling on the back. You would see it on the E and 5 and the E and Cents and the E and Monticello, but it's not there. And then a 1940 Denver. So two added to the 14, that gives us 16. Um, box was pretty hot in the first 10 rolls and slowed down. So I guess we'll get through 10 more and see what we find. And we'll bring it back All right through the next 10. So that's 40 down. And we're gonna add to the fines. 1941 Philadelphia, 1941 Denver, they have 46 Philadelphia. 56 Denver, 58 Denver, 59 Denver, and then a 1988 Canadian, and then we found us a 1982 proof. So, still shiny front and back, it's got a lot of scratching on it, but uh, still keep it, it's a proof. All right, so that's eight, and my math was off a while ago. We had 11, and then we had a two mage 13, and we add this eight to that, and that makes it 21 now. So we'll get to these last 10 rolls, and we'll come back and show you what we find. All right, we're on roll 44. We have the coins out here. It looks like there's two coins that are possible silver. I don't know if you can see it, but the one right by my finger and the one right in the middle. So I'm gonna check this one first. Oh, yes, sir. 19, there's a 1945, 1945 Philadelphia, silver war nickel. So we'll put that right down there. And then, look like there was another one there. And that, if, if that's silver also, that'll be the first time I've ever found two on one roll. So let's look at that. And that's looking like it's gonna be silver also, 1942. San Francisco. So two war nickels in one roll. And I don't think you yeah, didn't see anything else in there, but that's uh that's pretty awesome. Anyway, uh there's those two silvers. Get back to the hunt. We got the rest of that roll, six more, and we'll come back and show you what we found. Alright, that box is done. We're gonna add to the finds 1956 Philadelphia. 56 Denver, 57 Denver, and 59 Denver. And then we, we found this 1942 San Francisco war nickel and 1945 Philadelphia war nickel that we brought you in and showed in that one roll. We will uh, get these coins added with the rest of them and come back and give you a wrap up. All right, here we are back with a wrap up. We found that 1939 Philadelphia, 1940 Denver, a 41 Denver, 241 Philadelphias, 46 Philadelphia, 47 Philadelphia, a 49 Philadelphia, 55 Denver, 356 Denvers, a 56 Philadelphia, 457 Denvers, a 58 Denver, 459 Denvers, and then we have our two Canadians, a 1988 and a 1997, and then we have our 1982 S-Mint Proof, Nickel, 
And then the fines of the box are going to be this 42 San Francisco and 45 Philadelphia. Now, we found 27 nickels in total. Uh, we usually average between 20 to 25, so we're right there. Um, we'd like to uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, we'd appreciate your subscription. Uh, we'd also appreciate a thumbs up. And then if you leave a comment, we'll answer you within a day or two.